The School of Informatics at Edinburgh is one of the largest establishments of its type in the world. It's the largest in Europe. It's the only five-star A rated research department in the UK. We attract talent from all over the world. We have some 64 different nationalities in our student body and some 34 different nationalities in the teaching body. I actually came to an open day with a friend of mine who was in the year above and I saw the AI robotics display that they put on and was just captivated by it and decided that for me AI and computer science was the way forward. I'd, I'd done computers at school and loved it and Edinburgh is the best for artificial intelligence so this was where I wanted to come. Informatics is about information processing and it's obviously information processing in things like mobile phones and the World Wide Web but it's also information processing in you and me and in our DNA. In fact, it's been said that computer science is about computers in the same way that astronomy is about telescopes. And that's basically right. Computers are really just the tip of the iceberg as far as informatics is concerned. So the commercialization activities around the school have attracted a large amount of funding from agencies such as Scottish Enterprise and the European Regional Development Fund. This is to enable us to have more impact from the research we do here on the industrial and commercial area. As part of that, what we're trying to do is enable our students to do more startup companies, help our staff do more spin-outs, and improve our relationships with the global multinationals. Well, the future is notoriously hard to predict. Fifteen years ago, I think few would have imagined the extent to which we take for granted ubiquitous, anytime, anywhere access to all the information in the entire world, good and bad. So it's also been said that the best way to predict the future is to invent it, and that's what we're doing here. And I think many of us share the intuition that the key is learning. And to make machines that learn, that fit themselves to the task, to their user, really, really we need to know better how humans and how animals learn in order to make machines that learn more effectively. Informatics is already ubiquitous, and if we get it right, in the future, the systems will be completely invisible. But that raises all sorts of questions about privacy, about security, about integrity. And we've got to address those questions if we're to get the future that we actually want.